How's it, Ganon Lords? Marshall here, and welcome to another review. Now, today, we are reviewing Eduardo Vargas, and I know what you're thinking already. Your voice sounds different. It's because I'm in a brand new office. There is literally nothing on any wall. There is only the computer in the room, so my voice it's echoing off each individual wall, so I get what you say. My voice is annoying. It's even more annoying when it's echoing off each wall, so I do apologize for that. But over this week, it will be sorted. Guys, if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, even game codes, head over to g2a.com, use that code M89, get yourself a discount. Every single link you'll need is right there in the description below. Now, Eduardo Vargas, he's got 8 in 7. His price range is 9.8 to 100k, and this card is going for roughly 100 thousand coins at this moment and Simon terms of mental and physical attributes he's got a few standouts positioning acceleration 90 agility great balance the downside 56 strength skill attributes got 80 ball control 84 dribbling 81 finishing he is quite good in front of goal if he does get the chance head and wise shite honestly in the air this card he wins nothing aerial battles there's just not there for this card. It's just pointless going into them, honestly. So if you're thinking about putting a goal kick up towards these bonds, think again. Just don't do it, lads. Don't do it. If you're thinking about crossing it, being sweaty, again, just don't do it. What you want to do is get into those situations, shoot, dribble, dribble. My good God, this guy can dribble. Agility, very high. That makes him seem fast. On the ball, his balance is good as well. He is quite evasive. He's a great dribbler. He really, really is. Now, what I want to highlight there is that particular skill move. I did it twice with Vargas. It worked twice. What you do is fake shot. As you're going for a fake shot, hold LT and the direction you're running, it will do that. It will bamboozle defenders, bamboozle goalkeepers. So if you're one-on-one -on -one with a keeper, try this skill move. It does work as evidenced in the gameplay. One-on-one -on -one takes it around the keeper into the back of the net. Easy as you like for Eduardo Vargas. Now, he is quite flareful on the dribble. He's very evasive, like I did say. His ball control. My good God, it is touch tight for a strike. Striker, very bloody good. 84 dribble on his base card stats. That is what this card's all about. The dribbling side of things. Not only is he good at dribbling, he's fast. Boy, oh boy, is this card fast. It's not Aubameyang fast, but it is adequately fast for a striker on this game. 87 paces acceleration is lightning quick, and his speed is very bloody good. Not only has he got all those... He's got the movement. First strike on this game, you need the movement. If you're not moving, if you're static, you're not going to get chances. You're not going to run in behind. If you've got great pace, you have to run in behind. You have to make those L-shaped runs, those U-bend runs, those Michael Owen-esque runs, as I keep kind of referring to, like you just seen there. That is the perfect example, and he does score at the end of the run. Agility, this card is very agile. It reminded me of Insignia at times, how agile this card actually was now the cons with this card he is very lightweight strength definitely a con if he does get touched he's gonna hit the ground like a sack of shite and his heading is god damn awful but all in all lads i did enjoy the card so you will get a rate of an 8.2 and a value of coins of a 7.8 lads if you have enjoyed this review smash the hell out of that thumbs up button once again i do apologize for my voice Sounding a little echoey today. Subscribe if you're new, lads. And as always, I will catch you all next time.